Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd talk to you today about what it's like, at least for me, going through a relationship with a non-vegan. Um, currently I'm in a relationship with another vegan and it, for me, it works out great. Um, I see some people post videos about, you know, whether to date a non-vegan or to keep it strictly vegan. Um, it's kind of all over the place. People have different opinions. And, um, well, I have a personal experience with it. So I can just give you my account of it. And, you know, it's up to you, whatever you decide. Um, for me, when I got together with this person in my past, we were both non-vegans. Um, I was completely completely on a sad diet. I mean, it was a lot of junk food and, you know, I just didn't really care about my health. Um, and think about the animals. I just, I was totally asleep to everything I'm awake to now. So, um, you know, there, I mean, there are already problems in that relationship to begin with. We just should have never became romantic. We were better at being friends. So that was strike one. Um, we were together for seven years, and in that seven years, towards the end, I did become vegan. Um, it started off, uh, as I said in past videos, um, removing fast food, removing Coca-Cola, uh, just the, the crap, and then I started to go cleaner eating. I started doing the whole um, organically raised and all that stuff and then I went from that to vegetarian and then from vegetarian to vegan and I've been a vegan for now this past month has been my vegan anniversary, and so it's just a little over a year now and this is pretty much gonna be the rest of my life I have no desire to um, go back to the way it was before in any way shape or form but back to the relationship so yeah I mean we were together for seven years. Um, when I became a vegetarian, he just thought it was just an experiment. You know, I'll go back to normal and I'll start making his dinners again the way he likes them or whatever, but that didn't happen. Um, it got better for me and worse for him, I guess, if you can look at it that way, because um, he had showed halfway attempts of being supportive and encouraging. Um, he learned to make a few dishes that that were vegan when I went vegan and um, and then the passive aggressiveness started in and when I didn't change after month after month after month of being vegan and after he um, looked at the exact same information I looked at after he looked at it he and in, instead of acknowledging that what I'm doing is a problem um, he doubled down and would passive aggressively leave stuff around the house that just flew in the face of veganism. It was pretty much a fuck you, like um, making a huge, one of those huge Costco sized things of patties, making that on the barbecue, but making them rare and then just putting them in a big old Ziploc and then just putting them right in the center of the refrigerator where all of our vegan food all of ours meaning um, my daughter had gone vegan before me so it was her and I and then my son became a vegetarian so it was like these non meat eaters and then one meat eater that's passive aggressive so after going through little incidences like that um, it just there was just a divide and then he, he would go through the motions of, oh, I think I want to try to be a vegetarian once a week, twice a week, three times a week. Oh, I think I'll just eat meat on the weekends. And then he would revert back to, fuck you, I'm going to do what I want. Don't tell me what to do, which I never did tell him what to do. Um, I believe everybody has um, control over their own decisions. I may not agree with them. But... Um, yeah, anyhow, it, it it didn't work. It for us it just did not work. He he was unwilling to even acknowledge the basic 
any, I mean, he would say, I know that animals are dying and I know that they suffer, but I don't care. I just want to eat meat. I don't care. I don't care about the fact that, you know, I have really bad acid reflux. I don't care. You know, it's, it's the fruit that does it to me. It's, it's the sugar that does it to me. It's not the other things. It's not the, all the byproducts. It's not all the dairy I take in that's like giving me phlegm all the time, making me feel sick, giving me sinus issues. I mean, there was a lot of like just sad diet problems that he had that I would try to help him with and he just, he didn't want to hear it. It was anything I said at one point was just, you know, negative and he didn't want to hear it. So what can I do? So, I mean, there was just this divide that just became more and more obvious over time and the more I started to talk to other vegans and it, we just had nothing in common. I mean, at one point, it just, we just should have been friends in the beginning and to me, in my own situation, I would never, I mean, if the man I was with now fell off the planet and I just never seen him again, I, I could not be with the non-vegan again. It just, why? I mean, it's at your core. If you're an ethical vegan, it is at your core, these fundamental ideals about animals and the planet and just having empathy for our sentient beings. And if you're with somebody who cannot grasp that, that fundamental base of who you are, what are you doing? <laughs> it just, you're, I mean, I've heard these stories of people getting together. I think one of them's a vegan and one is not, but um, they say, oh, I'll try for you, you know. I mean, that's nice. And sometimes, I mean, I, I hear these stories of it took them a year or so, but they turned their life around and they became a vegan. And I mean, it's a risk that you can take. It, you know, who am I to say you don't do it, you know? But I mean, I just speak from my own experience, and in my own experience, it it just it that never happened. <laughs> that never happened for me, and um, and now you know we've been apart for a very long time. I mean, I've started a whole new life. He's he has his whole new life, and you know he's very much just doing his thing. You know, just continuing to tread heavily on the planet and not care about sentient beings and just be closed off to the reality of what damage he does and I I mean I'm I'm glad I'm nowhere near that anymore I'm with somebody who I mean it's not an issue now it's like not even an issue he was a vegan before we got together and we got together it's just <laughs> the biggest decision about veganism is where to eat when we go out to restaurants. Like, there's so many vegan restaurants where I live now in California. It's just everywhere. Um, it's a very vegan-friendly state. Um, where I was living before in Washington, um, there definitely was veganism. Um, it was more in the big city. I lived in a suburb, so I'd have to travel if I want to, you know, be amongst my people. Um, uh, aside, aside from my family, my son ended up becoming a vegan too. So, I mean, I'm thrilled. Both of my kids are vegan. They're both adults. They're both on their own. So, I mean, they could very well have just gone on and just continued a sad diet like I raised them on. But no, I mean, they both on their own became vegans. My daughter before m myself and my son after me. And, and I'm just, I'm so thrilled. And both of their partners, both my my daughter's um, boyfriend, he is my future son-in-law, he's a vegan. They weren't always vegan together, but he became a vegan, um, I think right before I did, so now a little over a year for, for him as well. And then um, my son's fiance, she's all the way from Australia. She's vegan, she wasn't before, and she became a vegan. Um, he didn't really have to convince her too much. I mean, she just she just likes it and it's just it came natural and so I know that my future grandkids will be vegan and 
just grow more vegans. I know a lot of people are against that and I don't know, it's some weird fad in, in veganism, like, oh, overpopulation, everybody sniff their balls and, like, don't make any more babies. But to those of you who don't fall for that fad, that eugenicist fad, and are more in line of, you know what, it's perfectly natural when two people fall in love to want to have babies, you know, have babies, have vegan babies, do it, you know, out fuck the carnist. That's what I always say. Um, so anyway, I mean, that's, that's, my experience um, being with a non-vegan, I would not recommend it to people. Um, there are the, the, you know, the small percentage of non-vegans, dating vegans that become vegans or, or whatever, you know, that's, that's good. I mean, I'm happy about that, but I'm just speaking purely from my own standpoint, from my own experience. So, um... Oh, good luck with that. If that's what you do, I, I hope it works out for you. Um, if you're single and you're dating, um, my only advice is look at vegan establishments, vegan pages online. Um, that's my sweetie. Um, just look where there are other vegans. And guys, vegan men are fucking sexy. And there are too few of you, and to the single ones, you you guys are well sought out. I mean, there are more vegan females than there are males, so, you know, you guys have your pick, so, you know, good luck to everybody, and, I mean, I hope you're into this. I mean, if you are, whatever, you know, cool. If you're not, then sorry I wasted your time, but, um, yeah, all right, well, take it easy, guys.